You're watching the 2020 SCAC Spring Media Days. Today, we're taking a look at the Stroud University men's and women's golf programs. The Mountaineers coming off a successful season saw the men finish fourth at the SCAC Championships and the women finish third at that same tournament. The Mountaineers will be led as ahead in the season under the guidance of head coach Alan Baxter, along with sophomore Christopher Cameron on the men's side and senior Reagan Rodriguez on the women's side. Coach Christopher Reagan, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Coach, we'll get started with you. You take over as the new head coach there of the Mountaineers for both the men's and women's golf programs. Just take me through, you know, your transition. How has that been? And what have you learned about these two teams as you get prepared for this spring season? Well, it's like, as you said, it's my first uh, first year. I started August 1st. So really this first semester, I was just getting to know the men and women on the team. Transition's been great. They're, they're great student athletes and they're fun to be around. Christopher, you head into your sophomore season after a very successful freshman campaign. You know, what did you learn over the course of your first year in, in the collegiate level? And how much does that experience maybe kind of give you confidence heading into your sophomore year? How excited are you to get uh, year two underway? I learned a lot through my freshman year, especially like on the off of the course. I matured a lot going from high school to freshman year, especially going into my sophomore year. And I am very excited for the upcoming season. Reagan, you're one of two seniors uh, on this women's golf program heading into your final semester there at Shriner. You know, how excited are you to, to get things going, to be one of the senior leaders on this team, and is there kind of a sense of urgency from you uh, heading into to this semester? Um, I'm super excited. It's my last one, so I want to go out with a bang. There's not really a sense of urgency because I'm trying to just let it happen, go with the flow. It's my last one, so I don't want it to go by too fast. Coaches, you've gotten to know both of these teams and, and you've sort of settled in as the, the head coach of these two programs. What's been your message to, to these groups early on as you sort of try to instill your culture, put your fingerprints on these two programs? What are a couple of things you've really been hammering to both teams as they get prepared for a new season? Most important thing is to have fun. You know, college only comes around once a, in a lifetime, and so you want to have a lot of fun. Uh, second thing is we want to win everything that we can control, and that's being good, good students, being uh, good, good citizens, and being good teammates with each, with each other, and, and laughing, uh, looking sharp, being professional, being courteous. Uh, we want to win those things, and everything else uh, take care, takes care of itself. Christopher, I talk about the success you had last year as a freshman. You finished tied for sixth at the SEAC Championships, good enough for second team all-conference, three rounds in the 70s, a 223, you know, 54-hole scoring uh, run there. But what have you worked on in your game, you know, over the course of the offseason, through the fall? How are you looking to continue to improve as a golfer as you get ready for this season? I think my biggest weakness last year was probably my putting. So throughout the past probably six or seven months, I've been working pretty good at that. And I think everything else has kind of stayed relatively the same. So mostly just putting and short game. Reagan, similarly for you, uh, you're coming off a very successful junior year in which you finished ninth at the SEAC Championship, second team all-conference, a 171 total with two rounds in the 80s for a, 50, uh, for a 36 uh, hole total. You know, where is your game at now as you shape up and get prepared for your senior year? What are a couple of things that you feel really strongly about that can help breed confidence in you and set you up for a successful senior year? I've really been working on my mental game. I think that's what set me back a little bit last year. I really just need to learn to focus on the golf course and when stuff doesn't exactly go my way, just to calm down and it's okay. And we have 18 holes, so you know it's endless possibilities what could happen in each one of those holes. So I just have to keep moving forward. Coach, golf, you know, kind of on its own is, is sort of an individual sport, but in our arena here at the college level, it becomes a team game. How do you sort of get everybody on the same page with all the different skill sets, all the different, you know, personalities that you have on two different golf teams? How do you try and get everybody on the same page and sort of incorporate that team mentality into your program? Well, you can't ever get everybody on the same page, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I uh, like I say, I'm, I'm learning their games. You know, there's different courses for different horses, and and uh, uh, so I'm 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 looking at their games. And and uh, Chris and Reagan here, there's a reason they're captains, they're leaders. Uh, they they've helped me, and they help their teammates. Uh, really, we we just gotta see what we do. Each player does well, and what what each player doesn't do well, and stay away from what we don't do well, and 
try to maximize what we do well. And when you're playing it in a team sport, you, you can't be selfish. you got to play the course uh, smart because your teammates are, are relying on you for your score. So sometimes you can't go for certain things that necessarily you'd want to, so you have to create that unselfish uh, culture that, and the loving each other and want you, everybody to do well. At the same time, you got to protect against the high number so that you don't let your teammates down. So um, basically it's playing like a pro. A lot of people... A lot of people don't realize that, but college golf makes pro golfers. Not uh, it's because of that reason. You you have to play smart, and and so what we we're going to preach all the way right now is we're going to play really hard golf courses. We're going to play really hard competition, and um, we're going to prepare ourselves to try to to try to win the conference. And if we win the conference, we want to go to the nationals. If we don't, we don't want to go to the nationals. Um, I hope that. Uh, um, we just we play our best, and and the journey to get there is is learn how to play smart. Christopher and Reagan, as we wrap things up with the two of you, and you've had conversations with some of your teammates about some of the goals and expectations going into this 2020 season. What what have those conversations looked like, and what are some of your goals as you head into to your two respective seasons this year? For each one of us, we really talked about. Our mental game for the girls team, it's really about our mentality. I know that each one of the players is capable of doing really well on the golf course. I think it's just more time for us to work on our mentality. And I need to let my players know that I believe in every single one of them. I've seen them play really well and I know their games and I really need to instill in them to believe in themselves because they're, they are so capable of doing really well and I just want them to know that. And as for the boys' side, I know that our main goal as a team is to make it to nationals or at least win conference in one way or another. Uh, we also want to have fun and play well, obviously, but our main goal is to win conference. Finally, Coach, to wrap things up with you, this season is successful for you in your eyes if, if what plays out on the course for these two teams. What are you looking for as you kind of establish your culture there in your first season as head coach? You know, this, these seasons will be successful if what plays out in your eyes. It'll be successful to me as if the people look back like Reagan and Caitlin and said, boy, I had a great senior year and I had a lot of fun and uh, walking across the stage and, and uh, I'm happy. We went through a bunch, bunch of coaches in a short period of time, but we had a good time. I'm hoping that, that Chris and, and his teammates say they had a lot of fun. They learned something about the mental aspect and playing smart, but also they had a lot of fun, uh, a lot of great memories, a lot of great bonding, and, and they make good grades. They're a young team. They, they can really be super special. Um, I'm super excited to, to see how they develop over the next uh, two or three months. But to me, it's all about A, having fun, B, making good grades. So um, we'll see what else happens. They play smart, we'll be okay. Shrine University men's and women's golf programs. Again, the Mountaineers will head into the season under the guys head coach Alan Baxter along with sophomore Christopher Cameron on the men's side and senior Reagan Rodriguez on the women's side. Coach Christopher Reagan, thanks so much for your time today. and Best of luck as you head into the year. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks.